There was a lady that came, she had tears in her eyes. And as I made my way and I made my rounds and just to shake everyone's hand and ask them how they, how they were doing, she hesitated. Her tears in the end uh, spoke volumes to the devastation that she faced and uh, the comfort she felt as she sat within our facility. The Salvation Army became her place of refuge. And she pulled me down as she was sitting and whispered in my ear, thanks very much. To me, it, it meant what it is that we were doing was the right thing to do. Just be there for individuals. The people here are realizing how effective the Salvation Army can be in these situations. To date, we've received almost 900 pallets of in-kind donation. That ranges from commercially packaged items all the way up to general in-kind goods. We are providing shelter, meals, and clothing. And of course, counseling, okay, they needed hope. So we really utilize the moment, you know, um, speaking, calming their fears and praying with them and asking God to intervene and so forth while ministering to the physical and social needs. The Salvation Army can't do what we do if it weren't for the support of corporations, individuals, foundations that support us. Through their support that we are able to go beyond this phase, the next phase, and the phase beyond. That is what we are going to be using to, uh, to provide the support that survivors of this hurricane.